Hello, and welcome to another Fallout 76 Secret Places You Can Camp episode. I'm here at the toxic dried lake bed, not far from Grafton, and I have found a location so nice, I've decided to move my camp here. It is a fully intact diner. The roof is all there, all the walls, of course it's missing all the windows, but it's intact. The Lakeside Grill, my new home. Now here I am, I'm trying to get, make sure that I get all of the diner in and at least some area to grow some food. Spend the 40 caps. Over there is a sporting goods store. It's all boarded up, but there's some rooftop loot in a couple spots that you can take. Over here is a destroyed coffee shop. Now, if anybody knows how to get into the glass case, that would be great. I didn't see any switches, buttons. I tried shooting at it the first time I came through and I can't get in there. It might just be one of those things that you just cannot access. Outside the coffee shop, we have a very lone writer. Poor guy. So this is my view. And the diner is attached to this really long dock. It's got a couple of wrecked boats. I was trying to find out where the edge of the workshop border was and I realized that I may have made a big mistake and not included any of the water when I dropped the camp. Sometimes it's very difficult to see everything at once. So, yep, I can see right there that I did not get any of the water because I will definitely need water purifiers here. So I have to move the camp. So it should be another $40. Yeah, I've got way too much room here at the front. So it should be another 40 caps to move it back. So right there it says, move camp $40. Now you're going to see I was actually charged 160. I don't know why. Sometimes I get so involved in moving and building and, and checking the boundaries, I had no idea. So have a look when the camp is dropped, I'm charged 160 caps. I wanted to make sure I got the boathouse in too. There we go, minus 160. Couldn't believe that one. Okay, I'm just going to take a walk around to see if I got the front door. That's good. Got at least the first part of the dock area. Yes, we are good for water. This area has quite a lot of loot between what's actually inside the diner and in the boathouse and just lying around, just like that crate out there. So let's see what's in here. And through the magic of editing, I got into the door very quickly, which actually took me about two tries more. Now on the shelf here, I actually found a fisherman's outfit. 
this time around, I found something I didn't know was in the game, which was one of those really cool military caps. So I'm just going to go ahead and try it on. Whoa! Sorry. Get some clothes on. There we go. So that's the military cap. I can't remember where I found the fisherman's cap, but I found the fisherman's outfit on the shelf there. And yikes, it is a pretty ee, outfit. <laughs> Don't think I'll be wearing it all that much. Okay, let's head over to the diner itself and take a look at what loot can be salvaged there. Actually, it was quite a lot. And I know, you never get anything out of these machines, but I still try and anticipate getting that pie. Although I did get it on a rooftop, I'd rather have it out of the Porta Diner itself. And I've never seen a food dehydrator. I wish they worked. That would be kind of cool if you could take some of the uh, kills that you get and make like beef jerky or Meyerler jerky. And that, I found out, is the key to the boathouse so I don't have to fiddle around with the lock every time. So grab that and a beer. Hey. I love that there's some little teddy bears. Ooh, hi. Back to the teddy bears. I wonder if they're going to spawn here every time. It's a great way to get a collection again uh, if they respawn all the time. Different ones would be great. So there's still quite a lot of loot in this place. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun figuring out what I'm going to build out here. At least put, you know, the living space up on the roof and put all the workbenches here inside the diner. And hopefully when they get vending machines going for us in the next couple of months that they'll be able to put some vending machines out outside or possibly inside. And the fact there's also power is great. I won't have to put all the lighting up and everything. The only thing I wish is I tried to put a door in the opening and it would not let me. And here I was just checking out the combat armor helmet. I was wondering if it was some new style, but it wasn't. Anyway, thanks for having a look. This is my new lakeside grill, and I'll be spending the next week or so building here. Thanks again for watching. It's right outside the toxic dried lake bed. And see you out in the world.